In this section, we're going to talk about cryptographic hashing. A cryptographic hash is a special kind of cryptographic function known as a one-way function. Whereas most cryptographic functions are two-way, meaning that data can not only be encrypted, but can be decrypted at the other end, hashes or cryptographic hashes are very unique in that once data is encoded, it can never be decoded. Let's look at a small example of this. If we take a simple sentence, let's see, comma, grandma, this input sentence will generate a unique 32 character hash output. This hash output can be thought of as an identifier for this input data. In other words, I can input this data into a hash function to generate this output. And I can share this output with anybody anywhere, safe in the knowledge that it is mathematically impossible for anyone to reverse engineer the original input from this hash output. In fact, the only possible way that anybody could ever determine what this input was was by randomly inputting data into a hash function until they were able to recreate the same output. Another unique function of a cryptographic hash is that any small change to a data set, no matter how small, will result in an entirely different hash. If I remove the comma from this sentence, not only do I entirely change the meaning of the sentence, I also generate a new 32 character hash output. This 32 character hash output remains a fixed length no matter how big the input data set is. To demonstrate this, let's take the entire first book of Tolstoy's War and Peace and paste it into our hash function. You'll see that the most time consuming part of this is not generating the hash, but simply moving all the data from the clipboard into the input text box. I've generated a unique 32 character output or identifier for this input text. You'll notice that this is the same length hash that I got when I had a short one sentence input. And if I change anything in this extremely large data set, even one character, I will generate an entirely new hash output. Let's take a look at this by removing the period at the end of this sentence and replacing it with a question mark. You'll see that by doing so, I've generated a completely different and unique 32 character hash output. Hash functions not only play a critical role in blockchain security by enabling blocks to be linked together and creating immutability between data on the blocks, they can also be used as a great way to identify and verify large sources of data. Let's look at some other use cases. If I want to build a system which authenticates users, but I don't want to store their password directly in a database where it might be stolen or corrupted, a hash function can be a great solution. Let's say I have a very simple password, password123, but I don't want to store that password inside my authentication database. Well, I can simply ask the user to type in their password and store the hash output from that password. Any subsequent time a user tries to log on, I don't need to know their password. I just need to verify that they're able to recreate this hash output. If they can't do that because they have the wrong password, then I can simply choose not to authenticate them into my system. Cryptographic hashes can also be used to validate source code or real large data sets in the real world. Let's look at self-driving cars for an example. Let's say we've developed a self-driving car with the intelligence to hash the source code every time it starts up. My self-driving car, every time I start the car, can take its source code, run it through a hash, and generate a unique identifier. It can then share this identifier, or 32 character hash output, with every other self-driving car it has contact with, or even validate this against a database or some other centralized data store, or perhaps an immutable record on the blockchain. 
This gives me the confidence that if the source code for my self-driving car ever gets hacked and makes it unsafe to drive, I'll know it right away. I'll try to start my self-driving car, which will immediately hash its source code, share that hash output with other self-driving cars, or validate it against an authoritative source, and instantly we can see I've got an entirely different hash output, letting me know before I've gone anywhere that my self-driving car is not safe, and putting that self-driving car into a limp or shutdown mode, where it simply refuses to go anywhere until the compromised software has been updated and replaced with the right version. Cryptographic hashes give us a way to link all blocks on the blockchain together in an immutable fashion, such that if any one particular block or the data on any block is changed or altered to any degree, no matter how small, we will know it instantly and we will break the link between that block and every subsequent block. If you haven't watched the module in this course that covers the in-depth walkthrough of proof-of-work consensus, you might want to check it out now. We actually show how cryptographic hashing is used to link together all blocks on the blockchain, creating a data store that is immutable, secure, and extremely trustworthy.